up, what's up, guys? It is Monday. Uh, of course, you've seen my weekend. Um, yeah, trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, yeah, had a really good weekend. Stayed at 25.2 pretty much the whole weekend. So that was awesome. So, uh, got five pounds this week to lose, which I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I am. Because this past week, we weren't able to go to the gym because our freaking car was giving us problems. But my husband has since then fixed it, so we are now good to go again. I'm sorry, I'm making Archer's breakfast and uh, trying to watch the kids at the same time because I'm busy all the time. I've got to record, make my videos. I know, I'm getting your papa. Okay, I know, I know, kind of slow. Kind of slow right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, May has really kind of sucked for my weight loss. I have not been to a point where I've kind of sat at a weight in a really long time. I think it's been almost six or seven months where I've sat in um, like a, I think it was, I want to say, who was it, the 80s? Uh, 280. I think I sat there for a good, I want to say a good month, month and a half. It took me six weeks to get out of that one. But as long as my my goal stays within, you know, the same amount, because some months I'm going to lose it faster. And then some months it just takes me a little bit longer to get through, especially through holidays, stuff like that. Uh, because like I said, guys, I don't deprive myself of stuff that I really want because this is a lifestyle change for me. You know, yeah, I have my goals. Yeah, I have my stuff that, you know, I'm trying to stay with, but I also have a bigger picture in my head. You know, I, I'm going to need to stick with this for the rest of my life. And it's not feasible for me to be completely strict on my diet all the time because that's not who I am. It's not. I am, you know, during the holidays, going to make tamales. I'm going to, man, y'all have no idea how hard it is to spread cream cheese on toast while holding a phone. This this kind of, this kind of sucks. I don't, I don't know if y'all can see. I'm like holding it with my tummy. Luckily, I haven't lost a whole bunch of weight or too much weight because I can kind of still do this. Guys, I tell you, I'm a mess this morning, but I am going to get it all done. going to get it all done. Um... Yeah, so, you know, you're going to have your good months. You're going to have your bad months. This was one of my bad months, you know. Uh, it took me a full week to get off the weight that I gained from vacation. Now, I didn't even, like, this is just how my body is. So, I didn't even overindulge the whole weekend. I just overindulged Saturday. One day, guys, it takes one day to mess up the whole thing to mess up the whole thing. So if you're going to have a cheat day or cheat meal, be sure that it is, you know, within your calories at least enough or understand that you are going to gain weight tomorrow. Uh, get it down in your head and, you know, know that there are consequences to it. But as long as you're happy in the end, guys, it's all that really matters. You know what I mean? If you want that donut, have that donut. Uh, just know that if you want that donut off, then you're gonna have to work it off. And uh, sometimes you're gonna have to tell the donut no. So it really depends on where you're at in your journey, you know? Where are you? What, here baby. Like that. Um, where are you in your journey? What are you feeling at that time? You know, my journey's not always the same. You know what? It's day to day. Some days I'm on it. I'm killing it. You know, like this week, I'm pumped. I'm ready. I missed the gym last week. I'm dying. I'm dying. I mean, I did still, you know, lift weights. Luckily, my dad is super, you know, into his working out. So he has like a whole bunch of dumbbells and, you know, weights and stuff that, you know, we use. So, it's great. We have a bench press. We have stuff like that. I literally had Will get like the, I got those bands for your legs, you know, that you put them on there and then you kind of like do those. 
you know. So uh, I was using those and I got the heavy one and I had him like strap the back of, you know, my foot and I was just kind of leaning over on the bench and just lifting, you know, like that. So he was just giving me some resistance and man, my hammies are sore. So, you know, you gotta make do with what you got, guys. You know, I absolutely love the gym. Uh, if you don't have a gym membership, that's fine. There are curves that have a good lip on them. Go do some cardio. Do You can do squats off of there. You could do, you know, squats at home. You could dance. Do your cardio. Do what you gotta do to make yourself happy. I hope y'all had, and to all my mamas out there, happy Mother's Day. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I had a great Mother's Day. It was a rough start because it was starting out like any other day. But we ended up getting it together. We got it together. And uh, I went to the river. I, I love the sun. I love the water, guys. I am just, I'm a water baby. Uh, my grandma always had us at the river. You know, it's just memories that I want my children to have and to look back on. You know, man, mom always took us to the river. You know, her parents, we, we always did something. And, you know, it's not a lot of money. It's a free park. It's a free river. All you have to take is food. And we have a canopy and everything already. So I would highly recommend investing in one of those because that's, it's awesome, you know, especially if you have children. You know, I have my babies. So anyways. Had a great Mother's Day. I hope y'all all did as well. And if you didn't, it's all right. We always got next year. We got tomorrow. Every day is a Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we'll see y'all later. Um, I'll try to get some workout videos here coming in and out. See if my husband will record for me right now. I know this week I'm going to hit it super hard. We got our camping trip coming up this upcoming Saturday. Everybody pray. Get their fingers crossed for my Acha because he's got his allergies right now. We don't need that turning into a sinus infection, okay? I'm praying. I'm praying. Because oh, something always happens when, you know, me and Will try to go out and do something. So we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but super stoked and excited about it. I want to be 140 pounds down by Friday or Saturday. So Saturday is our camping trip. Hey, you know, go go out, go camping, and go celebrate, you know? So that is my goal this week. Matilda, you're going to lose five pounds in one week. Isn't that unhealthy? It could be if I do it wrong. But I am still going to eat my protein. I'm going to eat my micronutrients. Uh, I'm going to be sure I'm eating my calories. But I am going to bust my butt when I go to the gym. So going to exert my body. So that means protein on deck. Going to have uh, that for breakfast this morning. Going to have my protein and my BCAAs all week. Cannot skip because if I'm going to be tearing down my body like that, I have got to be nourishing it back. So good food going in, protein going in, BCAAs going in, um, nothing but water going in and going to work my butt off. So I'll see y'all later and keep y'all updated. I hope y'all are really enjoying these videos and I hope they're helping y'all out. So I'll see y'all later because Stassi is yelling at me. She's like, that's enough, lady. It's enough, tortilla. That's what they call me, tortilla. Uh, anyways, love y'all. We'll see y'all later. Getting the right nutrients, guys. This is what I'm talking about. I've got mushrooms, onions, bell peppers. This has a lot of sodium. It's just a uh, turkey and pork uh, sausage, Eckerd smoked. So, but it's 180 calories for two ounces, and that's how much I've got right there. And then also, I'm having my uh, protein, uh, peanut butter with apples, and I'm going to make a two egg omelet. No sodium this week either, so I'm cutting that out, um, which I really don't use too much. And then I'm having some uh, a good fat, some avocado with uh, wine, okay? So this is what I mean by, you know, making sure I'm eating nutritious enough, but still gonna lose this five pounds, okay? 
lemon yum. So I've got a two egg omelet. I've got one avocado. No sodium today, so no salt on it. Um, yeah, the sausage has sodium in it already, but I mean added sodium. So I put garlic powder and pepper on top of my avocado and uh, juice of a lime. And then over here, I've got my uh, protein peanut butter and uh, my apples. And altogether, it's about 500 calories. So I'm making sure I'm having my nutrients, stuff that's going to give me energy to work off these five pounds, guys. So eating right is a big deal. You have to eat enough calories or you're not going to lose it properly or it's not going to stay off. You know, I'm going to lose this five pounds. I may fluctuate with one or two pounds, but it's going to stay off. You got to eat right and do what you got to. Good morning guys, it is a Tuesday the 16th and I'm up, baby's here, Archer's awake, the hubby's watching Doctor Who, Tilly has to go to work this morning and then I uh, weighed myself this morning, I was 23.4, yay, see what the gym does and I ate all of my calories, I think I had like a hundred to spare. But uh, after calculating like my workout in, um, it gave me like four or five hundred leftover calories. So that was good. Super excited. Uh, like I said, I burned that uh, those calories because I ate after I worked out. And that wasn't even planned. That was just by accident because we had things going on. So yay! Keep y'all updated and keep going with it this week so that way y'all can see how my progress is doing with these five pounds. Hi right, guys, so uh, Tuesday the 16th, um, I've got a bowl of grits with um, very little heart healthy omega-3 butter and uh, just pepper, no added sodium to it whatsoever with uh, a soft egg on top. And then I've got five turkey bacon, an orange slice, and my protein. Um, yeah, like I said this morning, I woke up at 223.6, I think. I don't know. Kind of. It was early. I just know it was 223 point something. And it wasn't too <laughs> So, uh, anyways, so this is what I'm having for breakfast. Trying to get in all my nutrients. Guys, if you are working out and tearing down your muscles and trying to build them up, I am, uh, you need protein, you need protein, you need your nutrients, you need to be sure that you're eating correctly. So I am losing this weight, these five pounds this week, and I'm pushing it, but that's mostly because of my cardio and uh, I'm doing plyos in between sets. So that's why it's working for me. So working extra hard, but making sure I'm eating, you need to be eating. And go figure, guess who's starting to feel sick? Me. This gal. I'm starting to feel sick, man. I really I can't deal with this. Uh, I think it's my allergies because my son is going through his allergies right now. I just feel it in the back of my throat. So I'm not even touching my vape pen today because I just don't. It just hurts so bad. I'm forcing everything down. I don't even want to eat right now because it hurts. Still gonna eat. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wednesday, uh, the 17th. I'm not weighed in this morning yet. I am sick. I don't know if it's my allergies or what. Um, I mean, last night I started getting like really cold. I woke up yesterday feeling a little cold. Um, I'm not congested so much right now. I mean, right now I kind of am. Um, but my throat was just kind of weird. It was kind of hurting. I was like, you know what? It just may have been from my vaping from the night before because my throat did feel weird. I was like, maybe it's just that I'm just not going to vape today. And uh, so I didn't, but still throughout the day, my throat was just getting worse. And then I want to say about four, 
I I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks. So I was literally just sitting there freezing. So I threw on blankets on me. I didn't even make supper last night. My babies had sandwiches and my husband made eggs and stuff for them. I made me some grits with some avocado lime and a little bit of sour cream. By the way, that's delicious. All it's probably like my new favorite thing right now. It was so good. But uh yeah, so I oh it was just freezing. I felt like crap. I took some like day quilt at like five and then I took some ibuprofen before I went to sleep because my body was hurting all over. And then, then I was freezing, so my husband like covered me up, put a whole bunch of pillows on top of me, and like four or five blankets. And I was just sitting there shivering and shivering. And uh, so he went and uh, he went to go write. And then so while he was writing, I guess I fell asleep for like an hour in the bed. And I woke up at I want to say 11:30. And I was hot. Like, I just wanted to throw everything off. So I did. <laughs> so, uh, threw everything off, laid back down, and I drenched my bed. I know it's so nasty, but I just drenched my bed. Like, sweating, just pouring out sweat. It's like, what the heck is going on? First, I'm freezing. And now I am so hot, I'm just sweating everywhere. Although I did wake up not dizzy, so that was really nice because going to bed, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to human tomorrow. My baby's right there. We're at the doctor's waiting for my dad to get a, a scan. <laughs> it's nasty. Uh, I almost called her mama and told her no. Uh, I wouldn't be able to watch her, but... As long as I just don't touch her. So, uh, we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, my chest is super sore from the other day. I did not work out yesterday. I'm very sad, very upset. Um, I have not weighed myself. I will let y'all know uh, later when I do and get my weight. I did eat within my calories and I think at a deficit, anyways. So, I'm hoping that did something. Because, <sighs> Lord knows. I'm going to be so sad if, if, I, if I'm at 23 still, I'll be okay. But if I'm at 24 or 25, I might lose it a little. Anyways, sick, dying, no matter what, I'm going to the gym tonight. I can't mess this up. I'm actually going to make uh, baked wings. Uh, I'm debating on whether I should do a little video on it, but we shall see. That's what's going to be for supper. Trying to make sure I have enough of everything for breakfast. Chicken moth. That is what I'm having. I like soup, so I'm sick. Alright. We'll see y'all throughout the day, guys. I don't know how I'm going to do this without the phone. how to do it properly and so I'm getting ready to go ahead and steam them. Since we don't fry them we want to get most of the fat off before we make our wings because it gets rid of that extra fat. I'm sorry I'm trying to film and it's the same thing. But yeah so those are the first steps and I am using the lemon pepper let them cool off a little bit and we're gonna put them in the fridge so they chill but I swear guys this is the best way to get like faux fried baked meat I swear
where they're so good. So good. And here they are, my lemon pepper baked chicken wings. They're so good, you guys. Alright, what's up guys? It is uh, Thursday, the 18th of May. Um, super excited this morning because I got on the scale and I was 21.8. So excited. I did kill it yesterday, like big time. I went so many legs, couldn't take anymore. I'm even more congested today, and my throat is killing me. And it's like not at the top, like the inner, like your tonsils right there. It's like here. I don't know, maybe that's where my tonsils are. I don't know. It's right here, like mid inside my throat. throat. I hate that. I mean, it's better than the scratchiness, like when you swallow, it hurts. It just, it hurts, it's like swollen, it hurts so bad. <sighs> Sorry. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping today's the last day with this and I'll just be able to shrug it off. It did feel really good after workout. Uh, yesterday, I felt like I sweated it all out. I was feeling good. And this morning I wake up like this, so great. Looks like it's going to be raining all weekend, so I don't even know if we're going to go on a camping trip. kind of bummed. This, this week's kind of turning into a crappy week, <laughs> except for with my week of all types. It's like, well, we, I'll give up now, but we'll go ahead and let these pounds go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll see what tomorrow turns into. Yay. This is my breakfast uh, this morning, uh, Thursday. Um, so I've got my green tea because I feel like hot. My husband made it for me this morning. And then, uh, I've got my honey from the raw, it's only 30 calories. And then I've got two eggs, maybe one and a half because I gave Archer half of my little thing. And then my tart for the morning. So this is my breakfast. It's about five, six hundred, like usual. Okay, so I am making my homemade turkey chili. It's my grandma's chili recipe, but instead of using red meat, I'm using turkey meat. Just because, guys, it takes your body three days or so to process red meat. I am always trying to burn off my food for that day, so I try to eat meat and stuff that actually burn quicker. So turkey, chicken, uh, that's pretty much all I eat, guys, and, uh, I just make it in different ways, you know, so, hoping all of this food diary is kind of helping y'all to give y'all things, so, everything I use, I put some, uh, onions and fresh garlic, uh, seared those, or, uh, sauteed those for a little bit in some, uh, of my olive oil, sprayed it down, and then, uh, put my chili in there, and it's gonna be a black bean, so I love this, but I'm actually going to, uh, I rinse them off because they have a lot of sodium, and so I just need the cooked, uh, beans anyway, so I'll get these from, like, Walmart or wherever, and you can see the sodium on the bag, <laughs> I got to 70, um, oh no, uh, we don't need that much sodium, because <laughs> that will bloat me. Uh, but yeah, good source of fiber. Oh, seven grams of protein. So, I mean, you're, you know, it's pretty good. So, I will rinse these off as best as I can and then just throw them in the chili. So, I'll show y'all the end results. And here it is, guys. My turkey and black bean chili. It is delicious. Well, I can't taste it very well, so I had my son tasted it. <laughs> he was like, yes, mom. So, if you are a cook, or you're a mama who loves to cook, play with the recipes, guys. That's all you have to do is play with the recipes, find what works for you. I just converted my grandma's style of cooking into a healthier way. So, whatever works for you, just try to incorporate it into your life. So, car is acting up. Will doesn't want to take it out on the highway and we have to get on the highway to go to the gym. 
that means no gym today. But it's okay because today's uh, cardio anyways. Uh, I gotta let my legs and my chest rest anyways. And I can do dumbbells here. So I'll probably do some curls and uh, abs today. So uh, since I tore down uh, my shoulders and my chest, and I tore down uh, my thighs and quads and hammies and calves yesterday. So I can't do those anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal today. <laughs> but I've got one more pound, so I need to bust ass tonight. So that means hardcore. Hardcore. Oh, maybe I'll take it, take y'all with me on it. Yay! I didn't think about that. Duh. 140 pounds down! What? What? Yeah! So, I'm super excited, but I'm a little disappointed too. Because this time, it took me forever to lose the weight. But, but, I took out this beautiful thing this morning. Uh. And I've lost two inches everywhere all over my body. So again, you may not be losing the weight, but you're losing the inches. And by golly, I lost two inches. So I was at 47 inches, which I was stoked about last month, you know. I was at 47 inches around my tummy. And then, uh, uh, what was it? Even my legs have shrunk an inch, so I'm really excited. And I, I actually go over my saddle bags. I don't, uh, not go over my side back. <laughs> so I've always been in like the 30s, 34s, started at like 36 I think, and then uh, today it was, and one leg, it's left leg is bigger than the right leg, and I told Will, but he said, no babe, you're crazy, you're crazy babe, and I was like, no, one is bigger than the other, and uh, so I was right by one whole inch, one whole inch, so my left leg uh, is 29, and my right leg is 28 inches, like seriously, that's a big difference, that's like a whole inch, anyways, I am super excited, um, 140 pounds, 140 pounds. I'm thinking about doing something for my 150 pound weight loss. Uh, that would put me at 210 uh, when I get there. Or should I wait till I hit the 200s or get out of the 200s? Y'all let me know in the comments or uh, direct message me. It doesn't matter. DM me, man. Uh, Anyways, uh, let me know. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway or maybe a meet and greet, like a meetup, and we all hang out, do a workout, maybe something like that, because I know most of you that do follow me or actually watch my videos, I mean, y'all live, and I know y'all, y'all live in, around my area. Anyways, maybe we could do a workout, talk about food, something, uh, yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all want. Um, I do want to do something big when I get to that. Goal. I'll have to see and play with uh, when. I'm so sorry I did not do my makeup. I've got the babies watching Octonauts right now. They're both really good right now and quiet and I don't, I'm so busy for the rest of the day so I'm just trying to get this done and get it done. And Matilda, why are you standing in your bra? Just your bra. Your sports bra. I just got done uh, taking my progress pictures. Uh, that's a big thing too, guys. Take progress pictures. I know you don't want to look at yourself, you know, but it helps keep track because sometimes you don't lose weight fast. Uh, my sister, she does not drop weight easily, but she drops inches. But she's solid. She's a solid person. I, I gain more fat. I've got more fat uh, in my jeans just because I've got more of my grandmother's jeans so we store fat in our tummies and our butts yeah. and saddlebags really bad saddlebags uh, my sister's got my mom's uh, side of the family's jeans so it's just hard for her so two different journeys but she's busting butt and she's doing amazing so just remember I'm not the same as you uh, give me a drop it faster um, I may be dropping it faster, <sighs> although this month killed me, guys. I cried and cried and cried. I was so upset, so upset, but I did not stop pushing. Um, I cut out sweets this week. That's 
what was doing it, Matilda. I love sugar, guys. I love sugar right now. It's so hard for me. So now I need to find a mediation. As you progress in your journey, you're going to learn what you, you know, what you can have, what you can't have. And my journey's still not over. Uh, it's probably going to be like this for the rest of my life. Always going to have to tweak my diet. Always going to have to tweak my exercise. I'm always going to have to do that. So, you know, you're always going to have to be on top of yourself for yourself and your children or whoever else. So, I will see y'all next week. This was a whole huge vlog. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, five pounds in five days. Wow. Wow. But we did it healthy. We did it right. Uh, I needed to meet this goal in May anyways, and it's going to stay off. Okay? It may fluctuate between two or three pounds each time, but that's fine. I'm pretty dang happy. Hit my goal. Hit your goals. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.